The NATO summit is underway in Lithuania and the French president has come bearing gifts for Ukraine. He has promised long-range cruise missiles, something that Ukraine has been demanding for months now. The US, Ukraine's main arms provider, has not yet agreed to supply them. Britain has agreed to send them back in May. Now France is also joining in. So what really is so special about these missiles and how will they help Ukraine in its counter-offensive? France has promised to send scalp missiles. How many of them? Macron declined to comment, but sources say as many as 50. These missiles are produced by European manufacturer MBDA. They have a range of around 250 kilometers. This is three times Ukraine's existing missile capacities. The missiles are reportedly being integrated into Ukrainian Russian made warplanes. And who would be bearing the cost? The French military. The missiles would come from existing French military stocks. Once Ukraine gets its hands on the missiles, it will be able to strike deep into Russian lines, something that has been happening since its counteroffensive started. Do I need to remind you about the attacks on Moscow? It is also something the US does not stand by. So would the missiles be an escalation? not according to the French. Macron has justified that the missiles are strictly meant for defence. And Ukraine also has reassured it will not fire them into Russia. How else will Ukraine use long-range missiles then? One of the French military sources claiming the long-range missiles would only balance things out, given that Russia itself has been using cruise missiles, hitting well beyond Ukrainian front lines. Paris, by the way, has previously supplied Mistral shoulder-launched anti-aircraft missiles to Ukraine. It also sent the Crotel short-range anti-air missiles. And these weapons are capable of intercepting low-flying missiles and aircraft. After demands from Kiev, it has promised long-range missiles. And what purpose exactly will they serve? We have told you this before. Ukraine's wish list is never ending. The counteroffensive is progressing at a disappointing pace, but weapons are getting burnt at breakneck speed. Back in March, Germany sent 18 cutting edge Leopard 2 tanks. The German army spent weeks training Ukrainian tank crews to use them, but within months, reports emerged that six of them had been destroyed. Figures reported by Russia were even higher. Some were blown up, while others were abandoned. Germany was shocked by the casualties. And despite this, Ukraine demanded more. The West may be pulling together everything to support Ukraine, but somehow it always falls short of Kiev's expectations. NATO members are now gathering in Lithuania. A full membership for Ukraine is under question. NATO members agree that it cannot join the NATO while a war rages on in the country. But decisions will surely be taken in the country's favour. In fact, Germany has already offered military aid worth over $760 million to Ukraine. The G7 is planning a security deal. There will be more aid, more weapons, more support. But is the NATO just giving Ukraine a comfort blanket? Whatever it is, it's not enough for the Ukrainian president, Volodymyr Zelensky. In fact, he has hit out at NATO. Before joining the summit as a special guest, he took to Telegram to say, I'm quoting, it is unprecedented and absurd when a time frame is not set, neither for the invitation nor for Ukraine's membership. You see, Ukraine is never satisfied. It always wants more. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.